U.S. Army U-64 Apache attack choppers supporting the fight against Daesh in Syria and Iraq have received Northrop Grumman's and AAQ-24 large aircraft infrared countermeasure LAIRCM, system according to the service. The 4th Squadron, 6th Cavalry Regiment was the first unit to operate the U.S. Army's new LAIRCM aircraft survivability equipment in combat last summer. LAIRCM is a DIRCM. Directional Infrared Countermeasures, an acronym used to describe any infrared countermeasure system that tracks and directs energy towards each seeking missiles. Several U.S. Army helicopters provide support to Operation Inherent Resolve. Rotary wing assets operate from multiple forward arming and refueling points farms in the region, pairing with RQ-7 BV-2's shadow unmanned aerial system, which performs reconnaissance and surveillance for the coalition forces. The Shadow U-8S identifies enemy personnel and hands the target off to either the A-64 Apache Hellas or to the MQ-1C Grey Eagle drones, the two U.S. Army's airstrike platforms and theater in order to perform their tasks. The attack helicopters operate at low altitude, well within the envelope of man pads, man portable air defense systems, possibly in the hands of Daesh fighters. Shoulder-fired missiles have long been a concern in Syria, especially in the past years when manpads were occasionally used, also by free Syrian army militants to bring down Assad regime helicopters. Manpads and ISIS hands have made the Syrian battlefield more dangerous to low-flying Hellas and aircraft as proved by the fact that U.S. and coalition aircraft have been targeted by manned portable systems while flying their missions over Syria in the past. For this reason, the U.S. Army Apaches have been equipped with what appears to be the Department of the Navy Large Aircraft Infrared Countermeasure Don LAIRCM, system with the Advanced Threat Warning ATW, upgrade the Don LAIRCM system, a variant of the U.S. Air Force LAIRCM system for fixed-wing aircraft, is a defensive system designed to protect the asset against surface-to-air infrared missile threats. According to official documents, the system combines two color infrared missile warning sensors with the Guardian Laser Transmitter Assembly GLTA. The missile warning sensor detects an oncoming missile threat and sends the information to the processor, which then notifies the crew through the control interface unit and simultaneously directs the GLTA to slew to and begin jamming the threat. The ATW capability upgrades the processor and missile warning sensors to provide improved missile detection, enhance hostile fire and laser warning capability with visual audio alerts to the pilots the U.S. Navy plans to fully integrate the Don LAIRCM ATW system on the MV-22 and KC-130J with the mission system software whereas the Army plans to integrate A-64, HH-60, and CH-47 helicopters.